Hey y'all, ladies, how y'all feel? Fellas, y'all all right out there. It's your girl, I'm back and I'm here with another video. Now let's make this crunch wrap supreme. So the first thing you're gonna do is start off with your ground beef and you are going to put it in the hot pan and begin to sear it. Um, as you can see, I began to spread the meat out across the pan before i season it because i want to make sure that the meat is evenly seasoned now this meat um was fresh from the store so it was a little cold and as you can see it's sticking to the bottom of the pan a little bit but just make sure that you use your spoon or whatever you cook it with to maneuver the meat around so it does not stick to the pan and the meat does not burn so once I even it out, I began to season. Um, I seasoned with Badia Complete Seasoning, and I also use parsley flakes. I know some of you probably wonder why she using parsley flakes because I just think that parsley flakes gives the food a very fresh and flavorful taste. Um, so I'm going to go back in and continue to uh, spread that meat across that pot and the reason being i'm spreading it now is because i want the seasoning to get over all of the meat you are going to cook this meat down until it is completely brown um if you like red meat then that's on you you can leave it as rare as you want to and then you're going to begin draining the meat when i say drain this is what i mean pouring the fat off of the meat because that meat can't be too greasy or it is not going to fold correctly in those flour tortillas as you can see i'm pressing my spoon down and that's draining the excess fat off of the meat and then i'm going to transfer that meat back into the same pot that i was using but with the stove completely off i know you still see steam but that's because the stove is hot and so is the meat but the stove is not on right here add one pack of taco seasoning and some water i forgot to put that in the video then you can start to add your can of rotel which consists of tomatoes and chilies you can get the hot flavor you can get whatever flavor floats your boat but i use original flavor because i don't like all the spice for the children um i also added one jar of salsa can coso and that's because i like mine's extra cheesy you do not have to do this stuff you do whatever you like or whatever floats your boat and then um i began to mix that cheese all around around the meat i want it fully covered in the cheese baby because it did what it need to do i'm telling you just add the jaw of cheese you can do what you want to do but add the jaw of cheese you gonna tell the difference it just was a good time um as you can see i'm mixing it up evenly across the meat and again the stove is not on but because the stove is hot the cheese melted evenly on its own now let's get ready to build the crunch wrap you're going to start off with one flour tortilla and it needs to be the burrito or the fajita size flour tortilla because the little taco size soft taco size one will not work for you you're going to add some shredded cheese and then you're going to add your meat mixture on top of the shredded cheese once you get your meat mixture on top of the shredded cheese you're going to add your tostado taco and you're going to place that on the top on top of that you're going to add sour cream now i know some of y'all saying i don't eat sour cream girl add the sour cream baby it gives it a creamy texture when you put that heat on it and it's just a good time you will not even taste the sour cream and then you're going to add some lettuce now if you're nasty like kimmy said you can add you some tomatoes but i'm not a tomato fan so i didn't add no tomatoes and add some shredded cheese on top of it and i also added um some mild taco sauce as well on top of mine and let me tell y'all that was a good time too honey all right so this the hard part right here for me um oh wait you gotta add another this is the soft taco flour tortilla that needs to go on top of it and really this just helping you uh make the crunch wrap supreme stick together so those two tortillas and this cornstarch and water mixture you can also use flour and water as well to make the size of the crunch wrap supreme stick together so you can um heat it up in the pan but this the hard part for me y'all is the folding like the folding gets me every time even when i make burritos i always fold it just crazy and then not only that 
every time I try to fold them, I always break the tortilla, y'all. So just take your time doing this part because you don't want to break the tortilla because then you got to start all over again. And who wants to do that? Look at me right there. You see, I have... I broke it a little bit on the edge right there while I was taking my time because I did not want to start over. But I got it together, y'all. I got it together. And once you fold it all together, you are going to heat the stove. You're going to heat a pan on the stove because you want that pan to be hot when you put this crunch wrap supreme in there you see me lay it down gently because i didn't want it to come loose and it still came loose a little bit lay it down gently right in the middle you want it right in the middle so it began to brown i brown mines for two minutes on each side because i want to see the brown spots on the crunch wrap supreme so you see me browning it right here on the first side and this is also helping it stick together when you brown it so you see me browning it right there on the first side and i'm going to get ready to flip it and you will see that um it helped it stick together and it also gave the flour tortilla a little bit of color again keep it on there for two minutes because if you turn it too early it is not going to be brown and it is probably not going to stick together and it will probably still come a loose so make sure you brown it for two minutes on each side and you see me flipping it on the other side baby that lets you know that the goodness is inside and it's all nice and warm i flip mine two times two times once in the morning once at night and once you brown it to your liking again to your liking then you want to cut it open baby and let's get into it honey let's get into it that thing was so good y'all it was so good taco bell who Taco Bell, well, no, baby, that's Tina E right there, copycatting off of Kimmy. Cut it and look in the middle. Let's look inside really quick. And you got yourself this right here, baby. It was a good time. It was a really good time. Very cheesy. It was crunchy. It had texture. It just was really, really, really good. So the next time you want something different for Taco Tuesday night, make sure that you watch this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. And make you a Crunch Wrap Taco Supreme, baby. As always, I promise you won't be disappointed. Okay, bye.